Hello everybody, it's the Rocky Mountain Crafter here and today I'm using the Floral Print Silhouette Stamps and Dies set by Concord and Ninth and there's cute little sayings in here like um, Welcome to the neighborhood, oh dear, welcome to the world for a baby card, uh, your kindness means so much, I can hardly bear it, and here's a dies with I'm going to be using the house, the elephant, the deer, and the bear. And the, it comes with the leaves and flower dyes, but I'm not using those today. The inks I'm using today are rose petals, stone blue, and sea foam, royal treatment, juniper mist, and green tea. And these inks are by Catherine Pooler. And the last set is Samba, Hot Tub, and Pink Champagne. But you will see that I actually do a fourth one in here. So here I'm just inking up the It Works. And this tool is by Memory Keepers, and I love it. So this is the stampin' portion of it, where it works like a misty. You can realign your sets every time in the same spot and re-stamp if something doesn't stamp perfectly the first time. So here I've just used the blue as the juniper mist. This purple color is royal treatment. And then I follow it up using green tea for the leaves. And this is a three-step stamping where you can make your own colors for backgrounds, for example. So this is... Uh, I basically what I do is I make my own colors for all of the dyes that I'm going to cut out like the house. This one here turns into the house dye. And I did my own colors for the elephant and the deer and so on. Look at those perfect stamping and perfect colors. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I just love it. Okay. So here I'm showing you how I'm lining it up. So I'm putting this notch in the same spot every time. And then by doing that, it kind of automatically just lines up. And with the misty, I don't know, I guess there is um, a measurement around the outside of the misty. I like this better being able to take this piece off and stamp it, <laughs> flip it upside down. Not having a door to open where I need to make space on my desk for every time I open that door there has to be a clear space I just I like everything about this tool the works by memory keepers I just bought it off of Amazon and it came from the UK it took about two and a half to three weeks to come so here I've got all of my uh, circles done and I'm just figuring out what I want to go where and then here I've got them all cut out with the dies. I did that bare in brown purposely. I gave the background a brown. Now here I'm going to cut these out with my circle die and what I'm doing is I'm turning these all into shakers. I apologize for the reflection there. That's just my ought light reflecting. So here I'm going to use acetate on the inside of these. So I'm just cutting around while I'm, I'm drawing around them right now. And then I know that I need to cut inside that line and that it won't go over the outside. So then I got them all glued here onto the circles. And now I just cut out a white circle just to put on the back after once I fill it with the sequins or whatever. Here, here I'm filling it with sequins. And then you see I have a white circle there. So I'm going to put that on the back. And then now we have a shaker. And I repeat this process for all four of them. And that is just a quick and easy way to make a shaker. And here I'm doing the deer. I've got my sequins in there. 
Oh, look at those colors. Those are fabulous. Now here I'm just trying to figure out a layout. So I'm using pre-cut bases and those are sold by Close to My Heart. It comes with uh, pre-cut bases and, em and envelopes both. So here I'm just trying to figure out the layout. I wanted to pull this teal color in to go with the leaves and really get that leaf color to stand out. This is a stamp set I bought from Simon Says by Casual Fridays. And so I was, this is going to say on the outside of it, oh dear. And it's going to be a kind of a get well soon card. And then on the inside, that stamp set by Casual Friday says, put a sticker on your forehead that says out of order and call it a day. Something along those lines anyway. So here I've figured out the layout that I want and the color scheme. Oh, I just love these shaker cards. And this is me inking up the stamp set. Now I know I'm a little bit off camera here and I apologize for that. But here I'm showing you that I actually didn't get the whole word forehead. There's some white parts at the bottom. So here I just easily re-ink it up and do it over again and it worked out perfectly. Oh, look it, I got some ink on there. So accidents like that, most of the time for me, they turn into happy accidents. So I found these enamel dots by Heidi Swap that I had in my stash. And I just found coordinating colors and pulled those out and stuck them on there. Now this one here is your kindness means so much and it's a bear shaker. And then I have a green piece of vellum. I can hardly bear it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> now I used the wrong color here. I used sangria on the inside instead of the sparkling berry that the outside is stamped with. But what happened was when I put that enamel dot there and the two-tone effect of it, I just loved how that turned out. So again, here's another happy accident. When you open up this card and you see the two colors there, it's really beautiful. So here's a baby card I'm making and I wanted to do the like the green vellum on the on the last card that I showed you. I wanted to do it in pink, but I didn't have any pink. So here I'm making my own with a Copic marker. So once I cut this out, I'm not happy with it. You can see some of the draw lines there. I'm not happy at all. So I color it again and what I found was that if you color it and you and you flip it over and take off some of that color while it's wet. It will transfer onto the paper and it will give like this nice texture onto this piece. So I just kept doing that over and over and in the same direction until I was happy with it. And what it turned out looking like was a faux piece of wood or almost marble like. It was really quite beautiful in the end and really added some texture to the piece in behind the shaker and in the same color as the ink that's on the card. Well, very similar anyway. And I was quite happy with that. And so here we have welcome. And I have a little bow there from the dollar store to the world. And uh-oh, there's another mistake. <laughs> ah, I'm so clumsy. Anyways, so I'm just trying to pick out the enamel dot here that's the closest in color. And these enamel dots are from the dollar store. These hearts. Um, I don't, can't remember if it's the buck or two or the great Canadian dollar store or Dollarama, Dollar Tree, whatever. I peruse those shops about once every two months and just see what they have. And I literally bought those hearts last week. So, um, I'm actually tempted to go back and get another package of them because they're working out fantastic for these cards. I actually use them quite a bit in these cards. Here I have a welcome to the neighborhood card. I love the color scheme of this one too. That dark blue is stunning. That's the stone blue. It's just beautiful. So welcome to the neighborhood. I didn't make any mistakes on this one. Woohoo! And here's all four cards. Welcome to the world, sweet baby. Your kindness means so much. 
I can hardly bear it. Oh dear. Put an out of order sticker on your forehead and call it a day. And there they are, the four beautiful shaker cards. And I got to choose the color scheme for all of them. Now here I'm decided to make tags to go with these cards. So I'm using the works tool here, putting the hole punch at the top for the tag. I'm just matching this tag up here. Now, I did realize afterwards where it says tag there on the left, I'm actually supposed to put that up higher, but it doesn't matter. It ended up working out here fine. So what's important here is that this part here is the most important part. So I'm figuring out a number here. Right here I like the half inch number. So as long as I line that top up with the half inch line, then when I flip it over to do the other side, all I have to do is make sure that top piece, the top portion of this tag, still lines up with the half inch. And those score marks go out purposely so that you can line it up perfectly. And then there, it's that quick and simple. And I have a tag. You can make these tags in any size with this tool. It is fantastic. So here I have the house cut out and I'm just figuring out a layout and what I want to do with this door that opens. I love that. So I end up putting a piece of uh, cardstock behind that door just to give it a different color. So here I've got all of the matching tags. And the reason I did tags, I could have done cards, but I, honestly, I'm swimming in cards. But I imagined that when I'm giving these cards, I'm also giving a present, like for a new baby, I would be giving a present of some kind. And this tag matches the card and co can go on the gift. And it's the same for all of them. With the your kindness means so much, maybe I'm giving a bouquet of flowers. And the bear tag can go on the flowers, with the flowers. And for oh dear, maybe I'm giving a care package for somebody that's in the hospital. You know, with some hand sanitizer and some hand cream, some lip balm, some chocolate bars. And for the welcome to the neighborhood, maybe I'm giving some baked goods, maybe uh, some cookies or something along those lines. Some homemade cookies. See, there's that door that opens. Anyways, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. And please hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber to my channel on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.